Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to create bootable flash drives so you could do things such as install a new operating system on your computer. So the tool we're going to be using is called UNet Bootin, if I'm saying that correctly. So it's a free download, uh, nothing to install, and it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So once you download it, just double click it to run it. You'll have to be an administrator to do so. So one of the nice features of this tool is if you're going to be creating a Linux bootable flash drive, you could actually download your distribution right from it if you don't want to have to go download the ISO file first. So if you see up here we have distribution and we have all these different options here for the flavors of Linux. So let's say we wanted Linux Mint and then you could pick your version here. And then you could pick your destination here. So USB drive or local disk, drive letter if you have more than one, and then click on OK. So this is going to go through the process of downloading, extracting the files, and then installing it. All right, so I'm going to cancel this, and then we're going to try it out with a Windows ISO file that we already have downloaded. All right, so we're going to select our disk image, and here are our formats here, ISO or floppy. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be using a floppy here. All right, so I've got this ISO file on the desktop here for Windows 11. So we're going to pick the USB drive, drive F, which is this guy here, the SanDisk. Just click on OK. And that's going to go through the process. So we'll pause the video and let this run and then be back when it's finished. All right, so the process is complete. So it's downloaded the files, extracted the files. I actually didn't download anything because I had the ISO here. We created a bootloader, and now the installation is complete. I'd say it took maybe 20 minutes, so kind of long, but you know, other tools like Rufus take a little bit of time too. So by the way, there are other options. Like I mentioned, Rufus and Ventoy, and then for Windows, you could even use the uh, Windows Media Creator tool as well. Well, this is just another option, but if you are trying to make a Linux bootable flash drive, it's definitely a good choice since it has all the options there and you can just download whichever ones you like. Alright, so once you have your flash drive ready, all you need to do is stick it in your computer, uh, change the boot order, and then boot to it and install your operating system. Alright, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download UNet Bootin and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.